Mr. Dog is specially prepared with 100% meat in delicious jelly. And he'll love you for it. Mr. Dog, specially prepared because some dogs are special. Jack certainly isn't a dull boy. He knows good value when he sees it. And he knows he'll be on to a winner when he takes home the big Andrex roll. Because as well as being soft, it's thick, wide, and incredibly long, which means it lasts and lasts. So, in the long run, he's likely to make a giant saving. Andrex, the legendary toilet tissue. Aha, we meet once again. And of course, in a few moments' time, as I've just mentioned, our late night look at the weather forecast. First, though, of course, to our final programme, and it's more night thoughts. In his day, my husband James Cameron got a fair share of bouquets and brickbats. As he would say, there was not a time when he would sit down to a blank piece of paper, but he would think, this time they will find me out. This diffidence remained with him t until the end. He would be quietly pleased when I was pleased. When I was angry at some slight to him, he would be rueful and philosophical. But there were two words which hurt him when used to describe him, cynical and survivor. He maintained that a cynic didn't care. He cared very deeply. Rarely did he show emotions in public. In private, he would be moved to anger and tears at the wretchedness he saw on television. I have known him to dress after midnight to post a check to catch the first collection. He broke down when our daughter left home and brooded when the youngest moved to his flat barely a block away. For him, Survivor was the epitome of the Vicar of Bray. James always avoided the pressures of expediency and ruthlessness. Above his table was pinned a prayer which only years later we discovered was used in a completely different context. Grant me the power to change what can be changed Grant me the serenity to accept what cannot be changed, and grant me the wisdom to know the difference. Good night. And so now to that aforementioned Weather forecast. Tonight, mostly clear, but showery at times and rather cold. The low, 5 degrees Celsius, 41 degrees Fahrenheit. For Thursday, it'll be a bright day with some sunshine, but the chance of the occasional showers. A strong cold wind, keeping temperatures to 10 degrees Celsius, that's 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is the weather forecast. That's just about it. Hey-ho to say, so to speak. But don't forget, of course, that later on this morning at a quarter past six, from Land's End to John O'Groats, it's Good Morning Great Britain, courtesy of our colleagues at VAR at the studios of TVAM. And incidentally, their special studio guest will be Jason Connery, son of Sean. We're back with you at 9.25 with the Thames News headlines, followed by our programmes for schools and colleges. Don't forget, tomorrow night at 7.30, it's comedy once again with our popular series, Fresh Fields. And then Henry Fonda stars in our big feature film at 8 o'clock, and that's called The Alpha Caper. All that and much more. Hopefully you'll be keeping me company again tomorrow night. If not, there will be trouble, I can tell you that. But for the moment, on behalf of all of us based here at our Euston Road studios at Thames, good night, sleep well, and here's our last look at the studio clock. And I can tell you it's fast approaching eight minutes to one in the morning.